Hello YouTube, it's Keith Kevin Ken. How you doing? How you doing? Man, I hope you're doing well. Time again for another knife of the day. We've been doing a lot of new knives. I bought a whole bunch of new knives. And so we've been going over them one knife at a time, one day at a time. And we've been on a streak. Now we're going over knives that aren't Spydecos. <laughs> if you want to check out the knives of the day, go check out the playlist, the knife of the day playlist. If you want to check out the um, um, EDC, um, go check out all of those EDCs. And by the way, on the Keith Kevin Ken Instagram, I show you my daily carry, every carry. But the knife of the day is not a new kind of knife, but it is a new variety, and it's really new to me. This is the Benchmade Bug Out, all blacked out version that is a limited edition Blade HQ exclusive. It's still available on the Blade HQ. I had a Bug Out that was um, tan. I still have the Bug Out that was tan. I should have took it out of the case to show you. And that was my very first Benchmade. This, and that was a gift. This is my very first that someone asked me, hey, why don't you try it out? This is my very first Benchmade that I purchased. And it's the Blacked Out Blade HQ Exclusive Bug Out. I have to say this, um, I'm not a huge Benchmade fan fan only because I don't buy a lot of Benchmades. It's, I, I have nothing against it. It's just I'm looking at other knives that I really love and I buy a lot of them. So I don't think about Benchmade. I do see the blackout as a lot of folks EDC knife. And I understand why, which is why I bought this. I bought this first because it popped up as a Blade HQ exclusive. I love blacked out knives and I really like the Benchmade. Um, bug out. To be honest with you, with my other bug out, just like I just said, I didn't bring it out the case. I haven't brought it out the case. I just don't think about it because I have a lot of Chris Reeves, Spotticos, and the other knives, Microtex that I'm used to buying. But I really like this little bug out. I really do. And I can see why it's a good EDC knife. So let's talk about it. Um, it's a little, it's like the perfect size for me. <laughs> so let's just start with that. The blade is S30V steel, which I like. It's blacked out, of course. It has this wonderful swedge on the top. You see, I don't know if you can see it. Blacked out knives against my blacked out. Uh, please forgive my manicure. Someone said I need to, uh, uh, <laughs> to manscape my hands. No. <laughs> and uh, at some point, I'm going to expand what you see on this channel. But one reason I don't is I really don't want to have to hurry up and, you know, get criticisms and, and, and make sure I'm shaved and all of that. I just want to do these things um, as quick as I can. Um, but I will be expanding this channel as much as I can now that I'm consulting and you'll be seeing a lot of other things and I might even get a manicure. I'm not, I'm not going to get a manicure, <laughs> but anyway, um, I love the S 30 V steel. I love that it's blacked out the swedges. It's 3.2 inches. So it's, it's a really nice knife. It's a little bit bigger then a small uh, Sabenza 21, which is usually, what, 2.9 inches. Um, it's a little bit bigger than the Delica. It's bigger than the Para 3. I'm going to compare this with the Para 3 and the Paramilitary 2 at the end. It's a real nice size. It's thin, too. 3.2 inches, the cutting edge is 3 inches, 7.5 inch total, 
It only weighs 1.8 ounces. This has a uh, flat grind. It's a really nice EDC knife. I can see why people like it. Now, of course, I buy some, I buy a lot of production knives, and because I love Chris Reeve knives, you guys know I spend real money on some of those production knives. Um, I always thought Benchmade, hey, it's inexpensive. They do have some more expensive knives. This knife, I expected to get a Delica, not a, a Spyderco Delica kind of price, you know, under a hundred dollars. That does not happen. I understand why. I mean, it's made well. It has this access lock that I really like a lot. Um, the handle is, uh, the scales are polymer. Um, they have a little bit of grip inlaid. It's not inlaid, but they, they put a nice texture on it. Jimping on the scales. It feels great in the hand. It really does. So perfect size, thin, see-through construction. And I really love the deep carry clip short deep carry clip that fits just right it's a right hand or left hand so it's a movable clip tip up only and of course you have your lanyard hole built into the scales as you can see it seems like a simple constructed knife But man, just when it all comes together, I really like it. I liked my other one. I just, you know, it's hard when you have one, now two Benchmades and four big Pelican cases full of knives, like 350 knives. They tend to get lost, okay? <laughs> but I was happy when this came. I was happy with it's announced. I do notice now, the thing is, you don't know how many of these exclusives Blade HQ has. I know that when they have Spyderco exclusives, they sell out in a matter of minutes. But my guess is they have really limited stock to sell where Benchmade probably did a whole bunch of knives because it doesn't seem like there's a run on these knives. And also, only because it's blacked out. Um, I'm not sure about the other bug out. Maybe you guys can comment. Uh, I don't know if this is an upgrade with the S30V steel is an upgrade from the other one. But I have to tell you, I wanted to try new knives this is my second Benchmade. Just so happens that it's the exact same <laughs> as the one I had, except it's blacked out. And I like it. That, my friends, is the knife of the day. The exclusive, Blade HQ exclusive limited edition Benchmade bug out, blacked out. Let's compare it to the Paramilitary 2, the Paramilitary 2. And the pair of three. So you can see it's a nice in-between knife between those two and super in-between, right? Just a couple of tenths of an inch smaller or larger than those two. I think it's almost a perfect size. Then it's so thin and so light. I really like it. Knife of the day, Benchmade. I don't say that enough. Benchmade bug out. If you guys know of another Benchmade, I'm not going to go and start collecting Benchmades. But if you watch a lot of these videos and you know the kind of knives that I have and you know a Benchmade that I might be interested in, uh, leave a comment. That's it. Don't forget to subscribe. Turn on your notifications. I appreciate all of you guys. Uh, keep those pockets full. Take good care of yourselves and your families. Goodbye.